The eggs are folk art. They're not just centuries old, millennia old. They go back to pagan times when people sheltered during the winter and looked forward to when spring would come. Ukraine became a Christian nation in 988. So those concepts kind of fit kind of neatly into a Christian Easter concept of resurrection and light conquering darkness and life conquering death. And so the decorations reflect that, the tears of Mary, a cross, but also still reflect some of the ancient pagan. Uh, so you, you have various animals, you have uh, shafts of wheat, and it's something that we at the museum have been highlighting for the last 25 plus years. The Ukrainian Museum Archives in Cleveland was founded in 1952 by a displaced scholar who went through the, the, the DP camps after World War II uh, during a time when Stalin was still in power and during a time when the Soviet Union was deliberately destroying Ukrainian culture and the culture of other peoples. They knew that their culture was being destroyed and they felt a very strong responsibility here to preserve these these traditions. So my parents made me go to Ukrainian school on Saturdays and that's where I learned how to make a pisanka the first time. The completed egg is called a pisanka and that comes from the verb pisate which means to write. Everybody comes up to me at shows and say, oh you painted all of those eggs and I said no I don't paint. I said I write and I'm actually writing a design with beeswax. So I have a tool to write with. Um, this is a tool called a kiska. It's basically a metal funnel attached to a wooden or a plastic handle and you scrape wax into the wide end of the funnel. You heat it by, by a candle and as the wax melts it comes out of the, the narrow end of the funnel and, and that's what you draw onto the egg. And if you notice, I'm moving the egg and I'm steadying my hand by putting my baby finger on the egg. So my right, so I'm, the egg is what's moving so that I can draw straight lines. You're creating the design in reverse. So you're, you start with a clean white egg and you cover the parts of the egg that you want to stay white. The wax seals off that part of the egg and the dye can't, can't get in. And so then you use the lightest color dye that you, you plan on using, usually yellow. What I want to do next is in the center of the star, I'm going to do teardrops, and the teardrops symbolize the Blessed Virgin Mary's tears. I do designs that can take me anywhere from three to five hours to eight hours to 14 hours on a simple chicken egg. It relaxes me. The lines, there's no beginning and there's no end, symbolize eternity. Now I'm going to do a few feather lines. I'll just show this, okay. I'm going to do the feather lines here on these lines. And this is going to be done on all of them. It then goes into the red. Okay, red dies right over the orange. Okay, and you can see white lines, yellow teardrops, orange feather lines. And now we're gonna cover the entire star with wax. I can be a little messy here. So this star will be completely covered in wax, and then it's ready to go into the final color, which is black. And voila, this is what it looks like <laughs> when it's done, okay? It looks like really nothing there, okay? You hold the egg close to the flame. When melting the wax off, all those <clears throat> pencil lines that I had before all come off with the wax. Okay. 
There you go. There's the white lines, the yellow teardrops. I don't have the green dots, but there's the orange feather lines and the red star. This egg has a periwinkle pattern to it. Periwinkle has a special place in Ukrainian folklore because the, the green vine of the periwinkle stays green for such a long time, even after the first snow. You can see how green the, the periwinkle vine is, and for that reason, it's developed a significance of perseverance and persistence, uh, which is kind of a, a, lovely, a lovely thought. It's something that I grew up with. You know, we had them around the house, so we have them at home. It's part of tradition, it's part of who we are as a, as a, a, a people. They have have really become to be very strongly associated with Ukraine itself. And they've always had a meaning of renewal and, and rebirth. And I guess hope could be included in that. Let's pray for peace in Ukraine. It's all we can do right now.